Hi everyone, it's Liv and welcome back to another vlog. It is currently 8.30 a.m. and we're packing and getting ready to head to a show over at the AFEC. It's both a hunter and jumper show and I'm actually participating in both. I have one jumping class on Esmeralda, of course, but then I also have two hunter classes on a new pony called Sassy. My friend Natalie approached me maybe like a month ago and asked me if I wanted to show Sassy to get her some experience. She explained to me that she really wanted to do it herself, but she also thought since I have quite a bit of experience with younger horses that it would be a good idea to ask me. I was more than happy to do it, so after that I've been riding Sassy quite a bit. And by now, I really do feel that we're ready to show together. And here is Esmeralda. I've been really happy with her the past months. My trainer has been phenomenal and I really feel we're improving with each lesson. And of course, I'm really happy to finally be competing with her. And in the stall be- Oh! Hey, Natalie! Oh, hey! <laughs> this is Sassy's owner, Natalie, and Sassy, of course. Sassy is a green six-year-old Connemara mare, and she's mostly done hunter so far. I forgot to mention how lovely a ride she is. She has such smooth gates, and for a six-year-old, she's really well-mannered. Alright, I will leave you alone now, uh, but will you take her out to the trailer when you're ready? Yes, of course. Okay, good. Alright, I really need to get packing. Oh wait, Yulia, are you serious? All right, so the tack trunk is packed, thanks to Yulia. Um, I think we have everything we need then, actually. All right, uh, then I should get Esmeralda ready for trailering. Okay, everything should be set then, right? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Hi, welcome. Are you here for the show? Hi, uh, yes, we are. All right. Um, what are your names? Olivia Littlewood and Natalie O'Brien. You have two stalls in stable A1 over there. Stall 30A and 31B. Okay, thank you. Liv, you can go find the stable. I'll catch up to you. Oh, yeah, okay. See ya then. I think we have an hour before you should get ready. Do you want to go find a place to sit? Oh yeah, for sure. Let's find a place in the shade. It's so hot out. Alright, so we're heading over to the arena. I believe there are some tables in the shade over here. 
to be honest, I am quite nervous. Natalie keeps saying I'm going to do fine. You are going to do fine. Oh, this is a nice spot. Alright, so kind of to have an overview, I have two classes on Sassy in about 45 minutes. One flat class and one jumper class. And then like an hour after that, I have Esmeralda's show jumping class. I'll go see if they sell any food around here. Be right back. I ate up my much needed food. Then we headed back to the stables to get Sassy ready. Actually, I should probably get changed. Would you start just getting Sassy ready? Oh yeah, of course. Do you need a leg up? For the warm up, we were actually allowed to use the main ring, so I was happy to get Sassy a bit familiar and make her less likely to spook at a corner or something. Sassy was phenomenal in the walk. In the trot, she was a bit more tense, so I focused on relaxing myself and getting her to soften. I had a short talk with Natalie just before our class. Then we got called into the ring. Group, Group one, one, please, please enter, enter the, the ring. ring. Nothing super excited happened in this class. It was just walk, trot, and canter. However, I was really proud of Sassy. She was really listening to me, softening up, and I was so happy about that. We had to stand and wait a little while for the results to come in, but when they came, I was beyond shocked. First, First place, place goes, goes to Olivia Smallwood on, on Sassy, Sassy but Sassy. But Sassy. <laughs> Congrats. Great job. Thank you. Thank you so much. To be honest, a couple of tears rolled down my cheek. I was so proud of Sassy and myself. Oh my gosh, you two killed it! Great job! When all of the flat groups were done, they started to build the course. I closely watched the riders before me to kind of get an idea of what jumps to look out for, etc. 
Then I double and triple check that I remember the course. And here it is. From what I saw, it seemed like a lot of the riders were having a bit of trouble on jump number 5. It's a pretty sharp turn. So hopefully I'll be able to set up Sassy properly for that jump. Next, Next to, to enter, enter is, is Olivia Smallwood, Smallwood on, on Sassy but Classy. classy. I established a nice even canter, then we headed for the first jump. Number two was a rollback, and it was kind of awkward to get to, but I did manage to get her quite straight. She jumped the combination very well, but unfortunately she got the wrong lead in between the jumps, which was kind of a bummer. Then we headed for the difficult jump number five, and... Oh my gosh. So, we ended up in quite the accident. I am back at the AFEC now, and before you say anything, I'm okay, Sassy's okay, and I'm going to explain what happened. So as you saw in the video, we tripped and crashed over fence number 5, which if I'm honest is kind of ironic since I was talking so much about it uh, beforehand. We basically got the complete wrong stride, I set her up really badly for the jump. She took off way too early, then changed her mind mid-jump, but it was too late, so we crashed. I ended up getting a mild concussion and also a beat up wrist, luckily it was not sprained. Here's a picture one of the photographers took when we walked out of the arena after the fall. I had a nosebleed, I was absolutely filthy with dirt, sassy saddle was on the side and I basically didn't notice anything. My adrenaline was pumping really hard so that's probably why. Anyways, after all this, someone, I don't actually know who, took the horses home and then I was sent to the hospital to get checked out. Luckily, I ended up being relatively fine. Now, Sassy is in her stall, so let's go check on her together. Here she is munching on her hay. So right after she got back to the DSEC, a vet was called and she got checked out. So she ended up with a small wound on her shoulder and also a slightly swollen right front leg. It definitely could have been a lot worse. I am very thankful that none of us had anything broken, but I can't help but feel a bit guilty that she got hurt while I was riding her. And also a heads up for you guys. I don't know if I'll be riding Sassy that much. And if I will be, I don't know if I'll be riding her on camera since she is Natalie's horse. I don't want to like push the camera up in her face. And of course, I can't forget my poor Esmeralda that I didn't even get to compete on. It really sucked that when we first found a show that worked, we didn't even get to compete. But I guess that's just how it is. I actually ended up with a first place trophy and ribbon from the flat class. So, you know, that's something. Anyways, I think that's going to be it for this show vlog. It took a dramatic turn, unfortunately. Thank you all so much for enjoying and liking these videos. I really appreciate it. Let me know if there's anything you would like me to do in future vlogs. And thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye!